Do you want to hear it or what? Yes. yes. Well, shut your bloody faces then. Now you wake my dad up. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, torches. It's about the house on Beach Street. Which house? Shh. She's just asking. The only one still standing on Beach Street, next to the old car park. Oh, I know. The only one still standing. My mum says that they knocked the rest of them down years ago. But the old lady who lived there, she wouldn't move. She wouldn't move. And she had a son who had something wrong with him. What was wrong with him? He wasn't a kid. He was a grown-up, a fully grown man. But he never went out. He didn't have a job or nothing. He wasn't allowed out because he was too dangerous. And he had a monkey, a pet monkey. <laughs> Nobody has pet monkeys. Well, they did in them days. Or he did, anyway. I told you. He was different. Did he have special needs or something? I don't know. Like anyway. you, uh, It's behavioural difficulties what I've got. Do you want to hear this or what? Yeah. Yeah. Go on. So they lived there for years and years, and nobody ever saw them. Nobody ever saw them? Nobody. Didn't they ever go out? They never went out, and nobody ever went in. Uh, how did they eat? Well, they had their food delivered. The delivery man, he put their food down in a box on the doorstep, and nobody <laughs> ever saw them take it indoors. But ten minutes later, it was always gone. Well, someone probably rubbed it. Yeah, your brother. Yeah, your sister. Yeah, your mother. Yeah, your grand. Your mum works at McDonald's, man. Your mother's a million your dad's yeah. How do you know they still live there if no one ever saw them? They, 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 they might have just moved out. I'll tell you how if you'd listen, Cotton. Go on, then. It's not me that's interrupting. Because every night, the light in the son's bedroom came on at 12 midnight. Mm. And every night, it went off again at 1 a.m. Exactly. <gasps> That's the witching hour. That's right. How do you know it was the son's bedroom? You could see his shadow, him and his monkey. You could see their shapes against the curtains, moving about, strange, weird movements, as if they were doing something. Doing what? No one knows, but whatever it was, it was evil. <sighs> so what happened? Do you want to know? Because we want to know. Do you really want to know? Yes. It's not very nice. Ain't it? might be scared. We're not scared. Oh, I'm not scared. Look, not you, the girls. And both. I'm not scared. It's not true anyway. It's just one of your stories. You think so? Isn't it? My dad says it's true. But you're calling my dad a liar. Nobody would call your dad a liar. Shut up then. Go on, Kelly. Tell us what happened. He killed her. <gasps> Who did? The son. He killed the old lady. Oh, did he? Where's the loads of blood? He used a knife. Just like this one. <laughs> My old granddad's knife. You're not meant to have that knife. Your dad will go mad. Shut up. My dad says that they carried the old lady out in a black oak coffin and they walked her son out in a straight jacket. Well, what happened what? to the monkey though, Cal? Good question, Ron. So, what happened to the bloody monkey? Oh, you shut up, you're my lad. Oh, sorry. What happened to it? No one knows. But when my mum and dad were our age, kids around here, used to dare each other to sneak into the house. Did they? Yeah. And one night, my dad and his mate snuck in there. What was it like? It was all sort of broken up inside. The floorboards were peeling. The wallpaper was rotten. It reeked of piss. There were blood stains on the walls. And the furniture was falling to pieces. I don't like this. And upstairs, in the son's bedroom. What? What was there? Lying on his dirty, old bed, right in the middle of this dirty, stinking, rotten, old bed was a dead monkey with a knife in it. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Who is that? <gasps> it's me, the ghost of the monkey, come back to haunt you. Shit! Now go back to bed. It's my birthday, not yours. But now, I. 
I'm ten, you're eight, you're a baby. Now piss off! Now! Or I'll tell everyone that thing. What thing? <coughs> that thing you're scared of. I hate you! Close the door. <laughs> little cow. Yeah. My little sister's like that. Always butting in. That's what my big brother says about me. Do Every big sister. Do you think she's old enough to do what we do, but she's not? Yeah. She winds me up. Yeah. She nicks my thing. She's, yeah. she's always following me around. And if I do anything about it, she tells on me and I get a bollocking of my dad. Yeah. I think she's cute. So do I. Shut up, Bob. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> oh, what are we going to do now, then? Are there any sweets left? No, we've eaten them all. Uh, you've eaten them all, you mean? I only had three packets. Tilly had more than me. I had six. You're going to lose all your teeth. You're going to lose all your teeth. <laughs> Shall we have another round of spin the bottle? Not again. Why not? You've already snogged Tilly five times, bro. <laughs> Tilly and Ro sipped in in a tree. Ro stirred up and had a wee! <laughs> <laughs> That's why we've got torches. Well, the, the door's all locked up. How are we going to get in? That's why we brought the cricket back. Oh, you're not going to knock it down. Why not? Someone will hear. The police will come. We'll be in trouble. We're nowhere near any houses. How's anyone going to hear? Can I smash the door down, Carl? We'll take it in turn. Sam and Lucio, can I go first? <laughs> can I go second? If we get caught, what's your dad going to do? Skin us alive. That's why we're not going to get caught. Come on, you two. We'll smash the door down. You lot stay here. We'll give you a shout when we're ready. If this was a scary film, you'd all be screaming at the screen, Don't go in! Don't go in! Oh yeah? When have you seen any scary films, Bob? Your mum won't even let you watch a PG. 
your favourite film is The Wizard of Oz. No, it's not. I have seen scary films, and this is what always happens. Stupid people go into dangerous and frightening places, even though it's completely clear to everyone else in the world that they shouldn't. You're bricking it, ain't you, Bob? Yeah, I'm bricking it. Anyone in their right mind would be bricking it. Loser. <laughs> I've seen loads of scary films. My brother gets them out when he's babysitting. You name it, and I've seen it. And I always scream at the screen, do go in, do go in, because if they didn't, there wouldn't be a film, would there? <laughs> That's right, Mal, put it there, my son. must have gone upstairs. We'll have to go up. I thought you might say that. I wish we'd never come here. So do I. Why do we always have to do what Cal says? It's good ideas, usually. This wasn't a good idea, was it? No. Jazz says we don't always have to do what Cal says. She reckons Cal's a bullshitter. Yeah, but that's because he said no to her when she asked him out in year four. What? No, it ain't. He's lying. She just definitely asked him. He's lying. She doesn't like Cal. She likes Bob. She likes Bob. Oh, please don't tell him, Ro. But she can't like Bob. He's gay. <laughs> He's not gay. He is. He likes books and that, don't he? He can't play football. He hasn't even got any trainers. There's nothing wrong with books. Cal likes books. Yeah, but he likes football as well, don't he? And he's got a Nintendo here. <laughs> well, then how come Cal's mates with Bob then if Bob's so gay? Because Cal, Cal's mum mates and be, don't she? Because she's mates with Bob's mum. Well, I like Bob. He's nice, and so does Jazz. <laughs> I can't believe Jazz fancies Bob. You can talk to Bob. He doesn't take the piss all the time. I don't take the piss all the time. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's where I can say only like you because you're good looking and you wear nice clean fashionable clothes, but I think you've got quite a nice personality too. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, you can never come here. Whenever I'm scared, my dad always says to me, imagine you're invincible. Invisible? You're invincible, like nothing can beat you. Like, 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 like Batman or something. Like Batman or Superman or something like that. I've never been anything good at that. Like what? At, at being invincible. Callie and Matt always look after me. Yeah, same with me and Jazz. But we've got to help them this time, innit? Yeah. I'm scared, Tilly. Me too. We've got to show them we can be brave too, yeah? Yeah, we've got to show them, yeah. I see. 
Please let them out. I didn't mean to do any harm. Please. They, we, just, we just want to go home. Let me tell you. We do. We do. We do. We do. We do. Yes. You think that I've got your friends in that room? Yes! No, 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 of course not. It's your house. This house is dangerous. But if you come with me and do as I say, I'll make it safe. Thank you. But I think we're going to go now. Are you well? Yeah, I think we're, we're just going to go. Ah! Ah! Don't you want to know about my monkey? Silly! What was that? I didn't hear anything. I thought I'd just hear my best mate, Jack. Stay here and talk to me. I might have seen her. Let's go, let's go. What did you say your monkey was called? He's called Monkey. Do you want to stroke him? Enthusiastic, your friend might need your help. Lions, and tigers, and bears, oh my! And lions, and <coughs> tigers, and bears, oh my! Lions, and 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 tigers, and bears, oh my! Whoa, 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 whoa. Who said I was going to do anything? We were having an interesting chat before your friends decided to join us. I don't think it was interesting. About fear, wasn't it, Cal? You're weird and sick. What's your biggest fear, Cal? Come I on. Don't, I don't have no biggest fears. Oh, come on. I'll let you go if you tell me. Does that mean you'll let us go if you tell me the truth? Don't tell him anything, Ro. Oh, don't listen to Cal, Ro. It was, after all, Cal's idea to come in here in the first place. So. Who wants to leave? Why tie us up like this? Why didn't you just ask us about our fears when we first came in? Well, you were trespassing on my property. Is a man not allowed to protect his own home from intruders? We're ten years old. We're not very big intruders. Children can be very bad. Don't you watch television? Nobody's lived in this house for years. How come it's your property? Yes, no one has lived here. But there's always been an owner. And now the owner's back. Are you the owner, then? Yes. Then where have you been? Let's just say I've been away. And why do you want to know what we're scared of? It's a project that I'm working on. I'm doing a project at school. Mal, it's about Queen Victoria. Shut up, Mal. Mal, shut up. What are you scared of? Hmm. Interesting question. I bet you won't tell us. Well, I could say witches, or banshees, or spectres, or demons, or monsters. So, which one is it? None of them. Not really, because things like that don't really exist. They're just 
stories of figments of the imagination. I've got a figment in my imagination. That's what my mum says when I've been lying about something. <laughs> Cal's got a good imagination. Haven't you, Cal? Good at telling stories. Good at telling lies. Fuck off! Um... <laughs> but lies aren't real. And people are really scared of real things. Things that could really hurt them. Plane crashes, earthquakes, hurricanes, guns, bombs. Knives. I ain't afraid of plane crashes and that. Really, Cal? Matt? It's, it's really funny what I'm scared of. Matt. It's, it's silly, really, because really they're meant to make you laugh, not scare you. I think I can guess what you're talking about, Mally. <laughs> Go on, then. I bet you can't. Mal, shut up. Is it something to do with the circus? Yeah! Mal, shut up! It's clowns, isn't it, Mal? Yeah, man! How did you guess? Mal, you idiot! What? You've told him! Oh. <laughs> it's okay, Mal. You've told me. You can go. Fabuluccio! Look, he's letting me go. You just have to tell him. See you soon, guys. Welcome to the House of Fun, Malcolm. Oh, oh, wh what's this? Big shoes, little gun. Again. I thought the doctor said it's going to fix that. We'll have to think of something else. But we must be clever. This is our most important mission ever. Only you and me can save these kids from this terrible nightmare. Really? 
Tilly gets it right in the teeth. You said we could go if we told you our fears. Yes, but then Cal was naughty, wasn't he? But Tilly wasn't naughty. Tilly told you what she's scared of, and now you've done this to her. Yes, and here we see the consequences of Cal's actions. Too late for Cal, though, but you can be good. You can save Tilly, if only you'll tell me what you're scared of. But why are you punishing Cal? This is all Cal's fault. Cal got us into this in the first place. Yes, it, Cal was bad, but you can be good. You can save Tilly. Just tell me what you are scared of. I don't know. Oh dear, it looks like Tilly's been eating too many sweeties. We're going to have to drill them all out. <coughs> I knew you'd see sense. Come on, Jazz. Sorry, speak up, Jazz. My mum! I'm frightened of anything happening to her. Really? Yes. I've been like that since I was little, since my dad went away. I don't even like her going out at night. You know, out with her friends for a drink or something. I always think something's going to happen to her. What kind of things? Could be anything. She could get run over by a car, or fall in front of a train, or get shot by accident in a bank raid. She could get some terrible illness, or choke on a fish bone, or <coughs> get bit by a rabid dog. She could. She could eat something dodgy and get salmonella and get admitted to hospital only to catch some terrible hospital bug. And if she ever manages to recover from that, she could catch Legionnaire's disease from the Jacuzzi Dabba Doom and just die anyway. I get these terrible dreams. My mum lying in a coffin. <laughs> place for a mother. You can go. What about Tilly? Tilly's coming soon. you want to make? Mm. Mm. I know what you're doing, you fucking freak! Oh yes, do tell. You're feeding off people's fears, aren't you? Like it's food or something. Well, I'm not going to give you anything more to eat, because I'm not scared of anything, okay? And if I was, I wouldn't tell you, and you won't be able to do anything about it because no one's left. You've got no one left to threaten me with. Beg pardon? You leave my brother alone! Oh, for fuck's sake, Lou! What? I'm here to save you! You've just ruined everything, you stupid cow!
my monkey will kill your brother. shouty sometimes. Well, he has to be, doesn't he? He has to be with me because sometimes I'm out of order and he can't put up with that, can he? Do, do, does he shut you up in dark cupboards? No. Does, does he burn you with his cigarettes? Of course not. Or does he make you sit in a bath of freezing cold water in the middle of winter for 15 Long, torturous hours. No. Then what's there to be scared of? Sometimes, sometimes when he's cross with me, sometimes when he's cross with me, I Speak up, Cal! I think he doesn't like me. He does like you. How do you know? Because he says so. He's very proud of you. Like when you got the best marks in the maths test and you make that really cool Doctor Who TARDIS box. I heard him telling Mum. He never said anything to me. Well, maybe he's embarrassed. Do you think so? Yeah, because men are like that, aren't they? Well, that's what Mum says anyway. <laughs> that's it then? Yeah. Your dad's a bit shouty. Yes! Loser, loser, double loser, take a picture, look at the me. Shut up! You haven't even got it! Oh, no. you've got no idea! I thought it was going to be something good. Untie him, monkey. Bye bye, boring boy. What about Lou? Well, Lou hasn't told me her secret. <laughs> if you don't let Lou go, I'm not going either! Goodbye, Cal! I'm not going! It's nice! What? What? The thing I'm scared of! You know, Cal, Grandad's big old scary knife! Good thing I haven't seen it in a while! <laughs> Let my monkey go, and my sister, Please. or I'll kill your dirty, stinking, flea bitten old egg. Please, you can't hurt it. It's what you're scared of, isn't it? Somebody sticking a knife into your precious monkey's heart. Please, it's your only friend, isn't it? A dirty, minging animal. Please, you can't hurt it. Let my sister go. <laughs> Run, Lou! No, 
No, please. Give me my money. Let my friends back first. Your friends are gone. Bring them back. Or I'll till it! Well done. 
Yeah, well done. Oh. Hey. <laughs> what are you kids doing here? This is private property. We're, uh, we're, uh, 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 doing a project. We're doing a project. It's a bit late for that kind of thing, isn't it? It's, um, uh, about things that go bump in the night. I bet you get a lot of night bumps in your job. Oh, I could tell you a thing or two. Do you, do you know anything about this house? Oh, yeah. I've been keeping an eye on this place for over 30 years. Well, can you tell us who it belongs to? Oh, well, well, it don't belong to no one no more. The guy who owned it, he, uh, he died last night. What? Last night? Did he still live there? Oh, no. No, you must be joking. No, it's a death trap in there. No one could live in there. No, no. No, he died in jail. People say he murdered his mother. What? What? What was he doing that for? Well, <clears throat> she was very cruel to him, apparently. She used to lock him in cupboards, burn him with cigarettes. He was brought up on fear. And then one day, he turned. People say he had a pet monkey, and she killed it. That's horrible. Still, it's all in the past now, eh? <laughs> 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 Not her. She's not allowed. Go on, Cal. Before we go to sleep, tell us what you were scared oh. of. Yeah, go on, no, Cal. No, no, no. Let's see if we can guess it. Oh. Is it ghosts? <laughs> no. Is it snakes? No. Spiders? No. I know. Zombie chickens? <laughs> no. Go to sleep. Is it a person? What? Oh. It is. It is. He didn't say no. Is it someone you know? Look, it's not, all right? But if you really have to know something, I'll tell you that thing Lou's scared of. You can't. You said you promised. Well, then let's go to sleep, shall we? All right. Whisper it to me. Tell me. I'm right outside the door, Cal! No! Go to bed! I'm not inside the room, I'm outside! And you better not tell them, or I'll tell Daddy! Go back to your room, or I will! I'm not inside the room, and I can hear every word you say! Right. Here comes your first clue, everybody! I'll tell Daddy! <gasps> oh, oh, Daddy! Daddy!